Safety tip number 11 is uh, advice to use atropine to prevent vasovagal syncope. There is a problem, uh, as you know, with uh, patients becoming vasovagal during a surgical procedure or intervention. Uh, and this is often pre predictable. Many patients who, who end up uh, having uh, phlebotomy or an injection in an outpatient uh, office setting will, will say that every time I get a CN needle, I'll, I will almost faint. So we uh, encountered those same patients in the tumescent liposuction. And we ask each of our patients, if they, as a part of their preoperative evaluation, if they have any history of, of fainting, any history of uh, near fainting. And even if it's a remote history, and there's some excuse uh, that would make that a uh, reasonable event, we still use prophylactic atropine to prevent a vasovagal event. Uh, it is very effective, and I would say close to 100% of our patients who give a history of uh, uh, being very susceptible to becoming lightheaded during a procedure, if they're given atropine prophylactically before the procedure, then uh, they have no event, they have no lightheadedness, and they are amazed by it and, and pleased by it, and obviously it's something that we want to avoid in an operating room setting. Uh, in our operating room, since we have IV access already established, we'll often give the atropine IV, uh, 0.3 to 0.4 milligrams. Yeah. <clears throat> As I'm a dermatologist, I'm doing many biopsies and surgical procedures and injections, in, in our clinic setting, and we see these patients, typically young patients, who will say every time they are approached with a needle, they'll get lightheaded and faint or almost faint. And in this setting, we will use atropine IM. <clears throat> so we take a, a 1 cc syringe, we have, the, we have this little bottle of atropine, in, uh, which contains one milligram of atropine in each of our exam rooms. And if the patient says that they have a, a near fainting uh, history, then we will take uh, a 26 gauge needle and a 1 cc syringe, draw up about 0.4 ml of this or 0.4 milligrams of atropine, and then change the needle to a 1 inch 30 gauge needle and inject that IM into the arm. And it, it's basically a painless procedure. They tolerate it very well and uh, it, it aborts or prevents any form of vasovagal or near fainting events. So that's a, a nice safety tip. Uh, the reason that is vasovagal events are critical is that patients can, if they faint <coughs> when they're horizontal and, it's not, and you don't counteract that, that event with atropine, they can develop a dangerous bradycardia. So it's important to be, be able to treat with uh, atropine. Uh, as an aside, uh, to the best of my knowledge, there's one, uh, the, the most expensive malpractice litigation settlement that occurred has occurred with uh, with uh, liposuction was a multi-million dollar settlement for a patient who had a vasovagal event at home and fell hit their head and had a fracture of their neck and was paralyzed after that so it was no, there was no evidence that there was a, a hypovolemia or anything else to cause the fainting but the fact that the patient did faint was an issue it's not necessarily something we're going to encounter in the operating room, but I think you need to be aware that vasovagal syncope is an important thing that we need to avoid, especially in procedures that are done totally by local anesthesia. I'm Dr. Jeffrey Klein. Thank you for watching this informational video.